Hi guys, it's Liz Gennaro of LizGennaro.com. Today I wanted to do a video and show you all of my April makes. So if you watched my April sewing plans video, there were a lot of patterns that I picked out that I wanted to actually sew up, but I didn't get to all of them. A couple of them I kind of lost interest in and then some of them were kind of fabric issues, different things like that, but I'll tell you all about it. So let's talk about the patterns that I didn't get to first. The first one is McCall's 7200. This is the kimono jacket. I didn't get to this pattern because of fabric. That's the only reason why. So the next time I go to the fabric store, I'll make sure I pick up some fabric specifically for this pattern. Um, I have some fabric in there. I just didn't have enough for it. So that's the reason why I didn't get to this pattern. The next one is Simplicity 8268. Um, this pattern is one of the patterns that I lost interest in because I have three pair of joggers already that I've made from Verda 6659. So it just wasn't in me to make another pair of joggers. So I decided to not do this pattern. Now this one, New Look 6384. I actually did make View A the top, but I didn't like the way the top fit. It, I can't explain it, but um, I didn't like it. So I kind of put that to the side. At first, I thought I used the wrong fabric, but it does suggest on here that you use a knit fabric for it. Um, but it just didn't fit right in the top, this area here. So I was talking to someone on Instagram, and they had made the top already. And they said that they put darts in it. So I'm going to try that. I don't know when I'm going to try it, but I'm going to try to put some darts in the front and the back to see if that changes the fit of the top. And if it works out, I'll show it to you guys. Even though I didn't get to two of the patterns, I actually added two other patterns. So I'll show you guys those as a part of this video. So the first make is Quick Sew 4028. This is a very easy and simple top. I'm probably going to make it 10 more times. And I'm actually working on a YouTube video for it, um, a sew along video. So hopefully I'll have that up next week. Um, but this top was super easy. If you're looking for something that's quick and easy, where you can wear it to work, where you can wear it out, this is a, a great top. And it has one for summer and also winter or fall, whenever you want to wear the top. So this was a, a great top to make. I made it in a brown ponte knit. The knit, it was very stable, so it holds together very well. And I don't have to worry about it stretching out of shape. But I absolutely love the top, and I'll probably be wearing it a lot and making a lot of these tops. The next make was Berta 6818. I made the short version of the skirt. I made it in a black ponte knit. Ponte knit um, is very stable and it holds together very well. So a lot of times if I'm making a pattern that calls for knits, I'm going to use a ponte knit as long as it's not too heavy for it. The next one is Butterick 6100. I made view C, but with short sleeves, the sleeves that are on view B. That's the sleeves that I use. And I actually, I was excited because I found some fabric that looks similar to the picture. So I decided to use that fabric and make this top. And it also came out very well. The only design change I made, it calls for a, um, a button in the back, but I didn't do the button. I just, um, I just sewed up the entire back seam because I made it with knit and the fabric was very stretchy. So I went ahead and just sewed up the back and didn't add the button. Also with this top, I made a pencil skirt. I made it in a brown ponte knit. And that pencil skirt, I've been making it for a really long time. But when I first started sewing, I followed the Mimi G 30 minute pencil skirt tutorial that's, on, that's here on YouTube. So I'll link that video below. But it's one seam, it's very easy pencil skirt, and you can wear it 
to work, you can wear it depending on how tight you make it. <laughs> you can wear it to work, you can wear it um, out, you can dress it up, you can dress it down. But if you love a pencil skirt, that's a very quick and easy video that you can follow. And it has elastic, it doesn't have a zipper, so that makes it even easier. So let's talk about the patterns that I actually added um, to sew. Simplicity had a sale and all of their new patterns came out. So I really didn't go in expecting anything. But as I started to look through the book, I saw a lot of patterns that I love. I actually did a pattern haul video. I'll link that below. But the first one that I added to my sewing plans for April is Simplicity 8379. When I saw this pattern in the book, I fell in love with it. I knew it would be easy to sew up, but I just liked that it was a short dress. I liked that it um, wasn't really fitted to the body, that it was kind of loose fitting to the body, but it had a, a sexy element to it. So this caught my eye and I decided to add it to my um, April sewing plans. One, because it was easy. Two, because I needed something that could be like a date night dress that you could wear. And the fabric that I used, it was a, like a burgundy ponty knit. It has a little weight to it. So it holds together, if you can see the side of the dress, it helps it to just kind of hold together really well. I absolutely love this dress. I will be making it um, a few more times in different colors. And the other thing that I like about it is that you can wear it as a dress or you can wear it as a shirt. You can put on some leggings or some jeans and you can wear it like that. I think that a really cute look would probably be some skinny jeans with some heels. And then maybe you can kind of throw like a little crop jacket on top of it during the fall or the winter time. That would be a really nice look for this as well. But you should definitely give this a try if you like this type of dress. The next pattern that I added is the Anitra Jumpsuit Pattern by Style So Me. Erin from Style So Me contacted me and asked me if I would like to be a part of her blog tour for her new pattern. And immediately I said yes, because I love everything that she does. And when she sent me the picture of the pattern of the jumpsuit, oh my goodness, I was so excited. I was excited and nervous at the same time. Um, I made the jumpsuit in a blue jersey knit. Um, the jumpsuit came together very well pattern instructions are very clear and she also has um, a YouTube video a sew along that you can follow overall I love the jumpsuit you can dress it up you can dress it down it's very comfortable if you like to throw on something when you run errands that's comfortable this is the perfect jumpsuit for you so I think that you should definitely support style sew me patterns um, she has a number of patterns out now they're all beautiful and I think you should give each one a try. The last pattern that I added, it came with um, Mimi G's So So Death magazine subscription. So each month you get a free pattern. You get a free male pattern and a free female pattern. And this pattern was called the Saldana. And it's a dress pattern. You can make it as a shirt. You can make it as a maxi. Or you can make it as a knee length dress. It is a um, really quick and easy pattern. It came together beautifully. Um, I didn't color block it, but the way the pattern is made, you can actually color block the pattern, which I think would be awesome. You can't really tell in the um, shirt or the dress that I made um, about the different dimensions of the pattern, but I'm definitely making it again. I actually have it cut out back here behind me. Um, and I'm actually going to color block it. So I want to see how that will look with this pattern. I'm sure it's going to look amazing because everything Mimi comes out with is amazing. <laughs> um, but I made it as a shirt. And then I made it as a maxi dress. The
the dress that I have cut out now is a knee length dress but you should definitely try this pattern as well I think um, you can purchase the pattern on her website I'll link that in the description below or if you subscribe to the so so deaf magazine or just if you just want to buy one issue of the magazine if you buy the first issue that pattern comes with the magazine so that's everything that I made in April even though I had specific plans for April those plans changed just for several different reasons um, but I did add to it I did a lot of sewing for April I'm not sure if I'm going to do that much sewing for May but sewing is my happy place so if I can find great patterns that are easy to sew up and they also look great I'll definitely add them to my plans so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did click the thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video